Hello, this is Tim. I'm glad you remembered to meet me here so that I can tell you more about the wonderful Christmas adventure I had with Jump Jump of Holiday House. Yesterday, I told you how I started out to find the North Pole and met Jump Jump, a little elf only three inches tall. He took me to Holiday House, where every day is a holiday, just like Christmas. At Holiday House, I met Hachi Padre, the circus clown, and Mary Holiday, Jump Jump's very best friend. I soon guessed that something was worrying Mary Holiday, for instead of being merry all the time, she was worried. Before I could ask her if she, too, were going to with me to the North Pole, I and Jump Jump fell asleep. I'll be back in a jump to tell you what happened next morning when I woke up in Holiday House. up in Holiday House to hear. Wake up, Tim. Wake up, Tim. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Who was that telling me to wake up? I couldn't remember at first where I was. And then when I opened my eyes, I thought I must be dreaming. We was sitting on my nose with Jump Jump. The elf who was only three inches tall. He was swinging his legs with her yellow boots and imitating me as I rubbed my eyes. Then I heard Mary Holiday call. Come on, Tim. Come on, Jump Jump. Breakfast is ready. The rock is ready. The rock is ready. The rock is ready. <laughs> you should have seen that little elf trying to help me get dressed. He hopped and jumped from one button to the next, tugged at my sleeve, and acted as if he were dressing me all by himself. Once he slipped into my pocket, and then when his head popped out again, he was pulling my pocket knife behind him. Yes, it's my knife. Uh, knife? Yes, for whittling. For whittling? For whittling and carving things. I like to carve things out of wood. I carve all kinds of things. Toy automobiles and toy train engines. And aeroplanes? Yes, and aeroplanes. And scooters? Yes, and scooters. I'll carve you a scooter sometime, Jump Jump. Don't you want your breakfast? Carve me a breakfast, Tim. <laughs> Carve me a breakfast. Carve you a breakfast from wood? Oh, no, Jump Jump. I'm sure the breakfast Mary Holiday has prepared for us would be much better. Here, jump in my ear and I'll give you a ride downstairs. Here we go. Whee! And so we went downstairs to say good morning to Mary Holiday. And as we went down the steps, Jump Jump sang that funny little song of his. He never walks, he never runs. He always jumps. It's much more fun. And he's quick as the wind, and his very best friend is Mary Holiday. Good morning, Mary Holiday. Oh, good morning, Tim. My, both you and Jump Jump look happy this morning. I think Jump Jump has adopted you for his very best friend, Tim. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh, yes, Jump Jump, I'm sure you can have lots of best friends. Now, don't get excited. We're having pancakes this morning, and I don't want you falling into the maple syrup. Yesterday, Tim, Jump Jump jumped right into the honey. Oh, all covered with honey. <laughs> How sticky, Jump Jump. I was covered with honey. I was so sweet. <laughs> yes, covered with honey, you were very sweet. 
But I had to soak him in a teacup of warm sets for an hour before he was clean again. Well, I'd hate to fall in a barrel of honey. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, Jump Jump. Always look before you jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, maybe that's Santa Claus telephoning at last. Yes, Santa Claus? Hello? Oh. Oh, it's you, Sleepy Slim. It's Sleepy Slim, the lion. You want to come over this morning? Oh, fine, Sleepy Slim. We'll be pleased to have you since it's your day off from the zoo. But hurry. Remember, last time it took you two weeks to come just around the corner to Holiday House because you stopped every two steps to take a nap. <laughs> All right, Sleepy Slim. We'll be looking for you. Goodbye. While Mary was talking on the phone, I'd whittled a toy scooter out of wood for Jump Jump, and I put it by his penny plate. Jump Jump was delighted, and when he touched it, it went ping, just like that. And right before my eyes, it was a little scooter with red wheels and even a brake. <laughs> Jump Jump was no more excited than I. Even I began to talk fast. Look, Mary Holiday, look, Jump Jump scooter, it's real. Oh, my, so it is. Oh, but don't you start talking too fast, too, Tim. I'll never know a single word that goes on in my house. Here, Jump Jump, let me put you and your toy scooter on the kitchen tray, and you'll have a regular scooter track. I want to chase the cat. Chase the cat? On your scooter? The kitty chases me. Oh, the kitty chases you only when you tease her. Of course she chases you when you look and squeak like a mouse. What was that? Sounded like a jet plane. Oh, it's the wishing star. It's the wishing star. See, Tim, here from the window. Archie Pogby the clown is driving the wishing star, and he's brought Sleepy Slim the lion with him. Wave to Archie Pogley. He doesn't seem to be getting out. Hello, Archie Pogley. Hello, Sleepy Slim. The wishing star is like a silver airplane with five wings instead of two, and it has a long tail. There goes Archie Pogley taking off. Jump, jump, how you've grown. <laughs> oh, Sleepy Slim, this is... Yeah, this is amazing, that's what it is. I saw you jump, jump only last uh, Wednesday, wasn't it? Or was it Tuesday or Monday? I, guess. I sleep so much that it's hard for me to know which day it is. Yeah, but, but Sleepy Slim... Well, maybe, I guess, it maybe it's Thursday. Uh, we had pork chops on Thursday. Sleepy Slim. Anyway, when I saw you last jump, jump, you were only three inches tall. Just no feet three. Now you must be four feet tall. Four feet one, maybe. My, my, how elves shoot up these days. They must feed you well. I'd rather be an elf myself. <laughs> Sleepy Slim, this isn't Jump Jump the elf. This is Tim, a boy. Oh, oh, well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I tried to. This is Tim. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, Tim. <laughs> oh, I'd rather be Slim than Tim. Well, I wasn't sure whether to shake hands with a lion or not. It was the first time I'd met a lion close up. He didn't look dangerous. He had big sleepy eyes and a rumpled mane. He still had on his striped nightshirt with his red flannel underwear showing through. So I nodded my head to him and I said, How do you do, Mr. Lion? Mister? My name's not Mister. It's Sleepy. Because I have to sleep so much. I'm very wise, you realize it's really quite a strain. I have to sleep so I can keep from wearing out my brain. <sighs> oh, I see. How do you do, Sleepy? <laughs> my name is not Sleepy. My name is Sleepy Slim. But you said... Can't you see that I'm Slim? I never get to eat. I never get to eat. I never get to eat. I'm very fond of eating. There's food up on my 
my shelf. But if food I take, I stay awake, and then I think, and I can't sleep a week. So you can see it's hard to be the king of beasts who never feast. <laughs> I'd rather be an elf myself. By the way, where is that elf, Jump Jump? Oh, Jump Jump is riding his scooter, which Tim carved for him. He's riding around the kitchen tray, on the kitchen table. Oh, my. What was that? Oh, it must be Jump Jump and his scooter. Maybe he scooted off the table. Oh, oh, here you are, Jump Jump. On the linoleum floor. Has Jump Jump hurt Mary Holiday? Are you hurt, Jump Jump? No. Oh, I'm so glad. But it's not at my scooter. Oh, yes, Tim. Look at the scooter. It's broken. My scooter is broken. But I'm sure that Tim will make you another one, Jump Jump. One that will fly. One that will fly? Scooters don't fly. They scoot. Were you trying to fly your scooter off the table? Yeah. Oh, jump, jump. <laughs> oh, maybe Tim will carve you an aeroplane instead. Yes, I'll carve you an airplane, jump, jump. Or how about a helicopter? <laughs> What's going on? What happened while I was asleep just now? And what did jump, jump say? He just uh, said, goody, goody, gumdrop. Goody, goody, gumdrop. That's a silly thing. <laughs> oh, yes, of course that's silly. I'd rather have some pop than drop. Who ever heard of goody, goody, gum pop, Sleepy Slim? <laughs> well, I have. That's who. I've heard of gum pop. I popped some gum once in my face, I did. It was bubble gum. Who ever heard of gum pop? Why, it got in my mane, that's what it did. Why, I gave up popping bubble gum. I'd rather have a mane than brain. Sleepy Slim. <laughs> Tim, jump, jump. I'm sorry, but I just can't wait around any longer. We're wasting time. We must hear from Santa Claus because every day is getting nearer Christmas. I'm going to telephone him by way of the Christmas tree hookup. That's funny. The phone's ringing all right. Oh, why doesn't someone answer Santa's telephone? Do you know what I think? Something has happened to Santa Claus, and if we don't save him, there'll be no Christmas for anyone this year. No, no one answered the telephone at Santa's North Pole workshop. When Mary hung up, she turned to us and said, That settles it. We'll all go to the North Pole with Tim and see what's happened to Santa Claus. We'll leave tomorrow on the Wishing Star. And we did leave for the North Pole the very next day. And a very exciting day it was, too. If you'll meet me here tomorrow, I'll tell you exactly what happened on this trip with Jump Jump of Holiday House.